National Thanksgiving Turkey Presentation is a ceremony that takes place at the White House every year shortly before Thanksgiving. The President of the United States is presented with a live domestic turkey by the National Turkey Federation, usually of the broad-breasted white variety. The early years also included a joint presentation with the Poultry and Egg National Board. The ceremony dates back to the 1940s, with presidents occasionally sparing the bird presented to them. Since 1989, during George H. W. Bush's first Thanksgiving as president, it has been an annual tradition for the president to pardon the turkey. History On various occasions, turkeys had been donated to the president as gifts from private citizens. Henry Vos, a Rhode Island turkey farmer, presented a turkey to the president each year from 1873 until his death in 1913. The official presentation of a turkey to the president each year began in 1947 under President Harry Truman, and many sources erroneously attribute the origin of the turkey pardon to Truman. However, the Truman Library says that no documents, speeches, newspaper clippings, photographs, or other contemporary records are known to exist that specify that he ever pardoned a turkey, there are records that he publicly admitted to eating at least some of them. The presentation was partially born out of a lobbying campaign. The Truman administration, in an effort to conserve grain for foreign aid campaigns, began promoting meatless Tuesdays and poultryless Thursdays in the autumn of 1947. Not only did American citizens quickly grow frustrated with the voluntary, but strongly encouraged restrictions and begin disregarding them in short order. The National Poultry and Egg Board, incensed at the attack on their industry, noted that not only was Thanksgiving on a Thursday, thus making the annual Thanksgiving turkey a taboo, but Christmas and New Year's Day also landed on a Thursday that year. A truce was called in the dispute in early November, before the Thanksgiving holiday, but eggless Thursdays continued to be promoted for the rest of the year, meaning that pumpkin pie, another Thanksgiving staple, was still on the forbidden foods list. The Eisenhower Presidential Library says documents in their collection reveal that President Dwight Eisenhower ate the birds presented to him during his two terms. President John F. Kennedy spontaneously spared a turkey on November 18, 1963, just four days before his assassination. The bird was wearing a sign reading, Good Eating Mr. President. Kennedy returned the massive 55-pound turkey to the farm, saying, We ll let this one grow. Scattered reports in the Washington Post and Los Angeles Times referred to it as a pardon, but Kennedy did not refer to it as such. Likewise, Richard Nixon also spared some of the turkeys given to him during his time as president, the first president on record issuing a pardon to his turkey was Ronald Reagan. Reagan had been sending the turkeys presented to him to farms and zoos since at least 1982, and 1987's turkey, Charlie, was likewise headed to a petting zoo. At the time, Reagan was facing questions over the Iran Contra affair, on whether or not he would consider pardoning Oliver North, who had yet to be tried for his involvement in the affair. Reagan conjured the notion of the turkey pardon as a joke to deflect those questions. Reagan did not pardon a turkey in his final year as president in 1988, but his successor, George H. W. Bush, instituted the turkey pardon as a permanent part of the presentation beginning his first year in office, 1989, in response to the protests of animal rights activists. The phrase, "...presidential pardon," in that ceremony was apparently inserted by a speechwriter. Bush initially was indifferent to the terminology, saying, Reprieve, keep him going, or pardon, it's all the same for the turkey, as long as he doesn't end up on the president's holiday table. Since then, at least one of the turkeys presented to the president has been taken to a farm where it will live out the rest of its natural life. For many years the turkeys were sent to Frying Pan Farm Park in Fairfax County, Virginia. From 2005 to 2009, the pardoned turkeys were sent to either the Disneyland Resort in California or the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida, where they served as the honorary Grand Marshals of Disney's Thanksgiving Day Parade. In 2010, 2011 and 2012, the turkeys were sent to live at Mount Vernon, the estate and home of George Washington. Mount Vernon stopped displaying and accepting the turkeys due to the fact that they violated the estate 
Washington's policy of maintaining its own historical accuracy, Washington never farmed turkeys. The 2013, 2014, and 2015 turkeys were sent to Morvan Park in Leesburg, Virginia, the estate of former Virginia governor and prolific turkey farmer, Westmoreland Davis. Virginia Polytechnic Institute housed the 2016 Pardon Turkey as well as the 2017 Turkeys. Virginia Tech was chosen because of the college's poultry science program, and the National Turkey Federation wanted to begin a tradition of cooperation between the turkey industry and universities. Selection process The turkeys are raised in the same fashion as turkeys designated for slaughter and are fed a grain-heavy diet of fortified corn and soybeans to increase the bird's size. A flock of approximately 80 birds, typically from the farm of the current National Turkey Federation chairperson, are selected to be acclimated to handle loud noises, flash photography and large crowds. From the flock of 80, the 20 best preened and best behaved are chosen and eventually narrowed down to two finalists, whose names are chosen by the White House staff from suggestions by school children from the state where they were raised. Thanksgiving turkeys are bred and raised to provide more meat than those of the 1960s. Turkey hens are usually marketed at 14 weeks and weigh 15.5 pounds kilograms when processed. This compares to the tom, which takes 18 weeks to reach a market weight of 38 pounds kilograms. The turkeys for the National Thanksgiving turkey presentation are usually 21-week-old toms males, weighing 45 pounds by the time of their White House visit, compared to the shorter growing period for turkeys destined for market. Broad-breasted white turkeys are bred for size at the expense of longer life, making them prone to health problems associated with obesity such as heart disease, respiratory failure and joint damage. For many years, the pardoned turkeys were documented to have very short lives after their pardoning, frequently dying within a year of being pardoned. For comparison, a wild or heritage turkey has a lifespan of at least five years. The lifespans of the pardoned turkeys have steadily improved in recent years, frequently having lifespans of over two years and occasionally reaching three years of age, an improvement attributed to better choices of homes after the pardons. Rather than serving solely as tourist attractions, the turkeys are now placed in the care of experts who make conscious efforts to maintain the turkey's health for as long as possible. List of turkeys pardoned Reagan Presidency 1987. Charlie. The pardoned turkey, was sent to a petting zoo in 1987. Clinton Presidency 1999. Harry the Turkey is the first in the record of the formal pardon process to have been given an official name. 2000. Jerry the Turkey, a 45-pounder 20 kilograms from Barron, Wisconsin. The pardoned turkey, the eighth in Clinton's presidency, and its unnamed alternate were both sent to Kidwell Farm's petting zoo in Herndon, Virginia. George W. Bush presidency 2001, Liberty and his backup freedom, so named in the wake of 9-11 attacks. They weighed 48 and 52 pounds, 22 and 24 kilograms, respectively. 2002, Katie, the first ever female turkey pardoned. The 30-pound, 14 kilograms bird bred by Ron Prestige, chairman of the National Turkey Federation, as well as alternate bird Zach. The turkeys were named after Prestige's children. 2003, Stars and Backup Stripes. 2004, Biscuits and Backup Gravy 2005, Marshmallow and Alternate Bird Yam, raised in Henning, Minnesota. Beginning in 2005 pardoned birds were sent to Disneyland to live, and serve as the "...honorary Grand Marshal." of that year's Thanksgiving Day Parade, following concerns raised by animal rights groups that the birds had not survived for long. For the previous 15 years they had been sent to Frying Pan Farm Park, near Herndon, Virginia. Names were generally chosen in online votes taken at the White House website. 2006 – Flyer and Alternate Bird Fryer, raised in Missouri 2007 – To 45 pound, 20 kilograms May and Backup Flower, raised in Indiana 
2008 to 45 pound backup. Vice. Turkey named pumpkin, after the number one turkey pecan fell ill the night before the ceremony. Both turkeys were allowed to live. Obama presidency 2009, Courage, a 45-pound turkey provided by the National Turkey Federation, an alternate bird Carolina, raised in North Carolina. 2010, Apple, a 45-pound turkey from Foster Farms in Modesto, California, an alternate bird cider. Both had died of natural causes by Thanksgiving 2011. 2011, a 45 pound turkey named Liberty and an alternate bird named Peace, both of which were raised in Wilmar, Minnesota. Peace survived until shortly before Thanksgiving 2012, when he was euthanized. Liberty survived until being euthanized April 26, 2013, at the age of 2. 2012, Cobbler and Gobbler, both 40 pound 18 kilograms turkeys from Rockingham County, Virginia. Gobbler died suddenly in February 2013. Cobbler was euthanized on August 22 of that year. 2013, Popcorn, a 38-pound turkey from Badger, Minnesota. Popcorn won an online contest over its identically sized stablemate Caramel, which was also spared. Popcorn died of heat stroke in summer 2014. Caramel survived much longer. It outlived one of the next year's turkeys and did not die until October 2015, spending most of its two years of life at Morven Park as the companion of a brown heritage turkey named Franklin. 2014, Cheese and Alternate Bird Mac, both of which were 48-pound turkeys from Fort Recovery, Ohio. Mac died of suspected heat stroke in July 2015. Cheese remained alive as of November 2015, with the surviving Franklin as its companion. Cheese was implied dead some time before June 2017, as the Morven Park website mentioned only housing the 2015 turkeys by that time. 2015, Abe, a 43-pound turkey again presented by Foster Farms. The alternate was 42-pound honest. Morvan Park reported that both were still alive as of November 2016. Morvan Park stated that the turkeys either died or were relocated out of Morvan Park in December 2017. 2016, Tater and Tot, 40 pound and 39 and a half pound, 18 kilograms respectively, turkeys from Storm Lake, Iowa. Both were reported as still alive and healthy but showing signs of old age as of November 2017. Trump presidency 2017, Drumstick, a 36-pound turkey, who was chosen over alternate wishbone, a 47-pound turkey, both were from Alexandria, Minnesota. Two pre-slaughtered turkeys from Orfield, Pennsylvania were also presented, with those turkeys being donated to Martha's table. State ceremonies a number of U.S. states have similar turkey pardoning events, including Minnesota. The pardoning ceremonies have also been extended to other holidays, for instance, Erie County, New York's county executive facetiously pardons a butter lamb during Holy Week. Popular culture In the West Wing episode, Shibboleth, when CJ learns the alternate turkey is to be slaughtered, she appeals to President Bartlett to save it. He points out that he cannot pardon a turkey, as it had committed no crime and he has no judicial jurisdiction over birds. So, he drafts the turkey into military service to spare its life. In real life, both the turkey and the alternate are spared. The animated film Free Birds centers around a turkey who was pardoned, then is recruited to go back in time in an attempt to change history and remove turkey from the menu of the first Thanksgiving dinner at Plymouth Colony. In David Mamet's play November, an incumbent president losing his bid for re-election uses the yearly tradition to extort the turkey manufacturers to add to his lacking campaign fund. Gallery References External links Official website of the Presidential Turkey 
Official Photo Gallery of Presidents Pardoning Turkeys President Abraham Lincoln Pardoned Jack, the White House Turkey Truman Trivia, Did Truman Pardon a Turkey? The Ungobbled Gobbler